Bill-billed hummingbird, Ensifera ensifera, also known as the swordbill, is a neotropical species of hummingbird from the Andean regions of South America. It is the only member in the genus Ensifera. Among the largest species of hummingbird, it is characterized by its unusually long bill. Being the only bird to have a beak longer than the rest of its body, excluding the tail, it uses its bill to drink nectar from flowers with long corollas and has co-evolved with the species Passiflora mixta. While most hummingbirds preen using their bills, the sword-billed hummingbird uses its feet to scratch and preen due to its bill being so long. The sword-billed hummingbird is a trapline feeder and feeds on nectar, especially from Passiflora mixta and other passion flowers. It also hawks for insects. It breeds from February to March and builds cup nests using moss. The sword-billed hummingbird is listed as being of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, on the IUCN Red List, but is threatened by climate change and deforestation. The sword-billed hummingbird was first described as Ornus Maya ensifera by Auguste Boissonneau in 1839 on the basis of specimens from Santa Fe, Bogota, Colombia. It was moved to the genus Ensifera in 1843 by René Lesson. The generic and specific name Ensifera is derived from the Latin words ensis, sword, and fair, to carry, and means sword wielder. Referring to the species' large beak, sword-billed hummingbird is the official common name designated by the International Ornithologists' Union. Other common names for the species include sword-billed hummingbird, swordbill, and swordbill hummingbird. The sword-billed hummingbird is the only species in the genus Ensifera. In 1939, Ensifera ensifera carulescens was described as a subspecies by Willoughby Lowe on the basis of a specimen from the Royal Albert Memorial Museum. However, it has since been lumped with the nominate subspecies as it is likely that the specimen had either aberrant plumage or was discolored. The species is now considered monotypic. The sword-billed hummingbird is among the largest species of hummingbirds. Adults are 13 to 14 centimeters, 5.1 to 5.5 in, long excluding the bill and weigh 10 to 15 grams, 0.35 to 0.53 ounces. With males being slightly larger on average than females, the most distinctive feature of the species is the enormous bill, which is 8 to 12 centimeters, 3.1 to 4.7 in, long. The bill is the largest of any hummingbird and the largest with respect to body length for any bird. The sword-billed hummingbird displays sexual dimorphism. Males have shorter bills but longer wings and tails than females. Males have bronze-green upper parts with coppery bronze heads, a discrete white spot behind the eye, dusky throats. Metallic green underparts, a dark gray belly, and a forked blackish bronze-green tail. Some males have white on the chin and throat. Females have similar upper parts, but have white underparts and grayish throats and bellies speckled with green. The tail is less deeply forked and is edged grayish-white. Juveniles look similar to females. The sword-billed hummingbird is the only known bird whose bill is longer than the rest of the body, excluding the tail. It is black, heavy, and slightly upturned. The extremely long bill helps the species feed on flowers with long corollas that are inaccessible to other species. The sword-billed hummingbird makes a low, guttural, slightly trilled trrr. The sword-billed hummingbird is found in the Andes from western Venezuela through Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru to Bolivia. It inhabits humid and wet montane forest, forest edges, shrubland, gardens, and patches of paramo at elevations of 1,700 to 3,500 meters, 5,600 minus 11,500 feet, but is most common at elevations of 2,400 to 3,100 meters, 7,900 minus 10,200 feet. The species is generally non-migratory. 
but shows localized movements in Colombia and northwestern Venezuela, where it moves to higher altitudes in the early wet season and returns to lower elevations in the dry season. The sword-billed hummingbird's distribution correlates with the distribution of species of the subgenus Taxonia in the genus Passiflora, due to its highly specialized bill and feeding habits. As is characteristic of hummingbirds, the sword-billed hummingbird can fly backwards and hover in the air. It also exhibits higher-than-average wing disc loading than other members of its family. The sword-billed hummingbird displays extreme coevolution with the passion flower Passiflora mixta. The two species evolved together during the early radiation of the subgenus Taxonia. Because the species exclusively pollinated P. mixta, the position of the flower's anthers and stigmas, along with the length of the corolla tube, make it an inaccessible food source to nearly every species except the sword-billed hummingbird. This mutualistic relationship lets P. mixta depend on the bird for pollination. While the bird obtains a high-quality food source, to obtain nectar, the hummingbird will stick its long bill down the tube of the corolla, both of which are almost exactly the same length, drink, and then retreat and hover for a few seconds before repeating the process. Other species, such as insects, may be able to access the flower's nectar but do so by puncturing the base and feeding through a hole instead of the corolla tube. Additional evidence of coevolution is that both species also inhabit the same territory range along the Andean mountains. If sword-billed hummingbird populations were to decline, there would most likely be a negative impact on the abundance of P. mixta flowers due to their extreme coevolution. Billed hummingbird, Ensifera ensifera also known as the swordbull, is a neotropical species of hummingbird from the Andean regions of South America. It is the only member in the genus Ensifera. Among the largest species of hummingbird, it is characterized by its unusually long bill. Being the only bird to have a beak longer than the rest of its body, excluding the tail, it uses its bill to drink nectar from flowers with long corollas and has co-evolved with the species Passiflora mixta. While most hummingbirds preen using their bills, the sword-billed hummingbird uses its feet to scratch and preen due to its bill being so long. The sword-billed hummingbird is a trapline feeder and feeds on nectar, especially from Passiflora mixta and other passion flowers. It also hawks for insects. It breeds from February to March and builds cup nests using moss. The sword-billed hummingbird is listed as being of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, on the IUCN Red List, but is threatened by climate change and deforestation. The sword-billed hummingbird was first described as Ornismaya ensifera by Auguste Boissonneau in 1839 on the basis of specimens from Santa Fe, Bogota, Colombia. It was moved to the genus Ensifera in 1843 by René Lesson. The generic and specific name Ensifera is derived from the Latin words ensis, sword, and fair, to carry, and means sword-wielder. Referring to the species' large beak, sword-billed hummingbird is the official common name designated by the International Ornithologists' Union. Other common names for the species include sword-billed hummingbird, swordbull, and swordbull hummingbird. The sword-billed hummingbird is the only species in the genus Ensifera. In 1939, Ensifera ensifera carulescens was described as a subspecies by Willoughby Lowe on the basis of a specimen from the Royal Albert Memorial Museum. However, it has since been lumped with the nominate subspecies as it is likely that the specimen had either aberrant plumage or was discolored. The species is now considered monotypic. The sword-billed humming